What's going on YouTube? James Prigioni coming at you from Jersey. It's April 14th. Sunday, it's a pretty nice day out. Just coming at you with a different kind of update. Uh, showing you a thing that me and my brother found today. We were pretty happy. We're pretty excited about it also. Uh, I'll bring you in. So this is our pear tree we got. We've had for a number of years. And it's looking pretty good. It's waking up now. It's starting to flower. But it, it's been producing for a number of years. So it's been dropping fruit. Last year it dropped a lot of fruit. We left a lot of fruit on the ground. So as we were walking by, we noticed that there's a bunch of small seedlings from the apple, from the pear tree. So we're just going around now and, and collecting them and repotting them. You can see a uh, the, the little pear tree. And here, another little pear tree. So we, we found a bunch of them. And here, we got lucky. I dug up the whole, uh, the lot of it and around it with all the soil improving plants so there's actually clover in here already so we're gonna have clover to pick some nitrogen for the pear tree in this little pot so that should be pretty cool and then another one here and anywhere that everywhere we have sticks there we found one and we're gonna be transplanting with the pots and then eventually into different locations another one So, one, two, three, four. We have about eight pear trees that we found. So, eight more pear trees if we want to grow them up and either sell them maybe or trade them for someone or even grow more pear trees. So, that's pretty cool. And then we planted all over here. This has all been planted. We're just waiting for things to come up. And also over here has been planted. And some stuff over there, you planted some potatoes and stuff in the back. And then along the house, we planted some things also. And then I'll bring you guys into the garden and show you how things are looking. Things have been growing pretty well. It's been nice, so we've been blessed with the weather. Here's things from back. You can tell it's greening up. Day by day, greening up. Here's a sell with the broccoli and kale and lettuce and things like that. Beans. This is another cell. More beans, lettuce and stuff. Here's a cell with all the mushrooms growing. I'm not still not sure what kind of mushroom this is. If anyone wants to help me identify that, it's definitely a mushroom. But just not sure what kind. We got more in this cell. The mushroom. So that must mean we have the mycorrhizae and the fungal hyphae. So we're pretty happy about that. Here's another cell. It's densely planted. Also, I love the red romaine in this. It just looks so cool to me. I hope it's not like a GMO thing, but. Someone could let me know about that, but I think it just looks beautiful. Also, I have a question about this, too. I'm not even sure what this is. I planted it. The leaves feel so soft. We have another one back here. If anyone wants to help me identify that one, too. Planted so much, I uh, weren't even sure what we planted. <laughs> another cell. Another one back there. And tomorrow we'll probably be moving the cold frame because things are getting big in there. So we'll move it and then direct seed only because the direct seed seems to be working the best for us. Especially in the cold frames. You can see things are liking in here a lot. So we're going to pick this whole cold frame up, move it, and then direct seed somewhere else. And we're not going to be doing the cups like we have in here because it's warm enough now. It's just wasting space to direct seed in our opinion. But you can see the sea of uh, spinach mustard tender greens back here. I never had them before, but they're pretty good. We've got extra of them because we planted so dense, densely, but it's not a bad thing because we've just been going through and eating them. And the first, it's our first fresh green of the year, and man, it's good. Got a little, a little mustard taste, but it's really sweet because it's still small, so it's pretty delicious. 
we've been going through and grabbing, eating them. You can see one grab from yesterday right there, and he's already putting out another one. So, things in here are looking good. The pineapple started to grow, which is cool. Looks good, started to put new, le new leaves out in the middle. We, the back row is, like I said, more spinach, mustard greens, giant noble spinach. You can see how big the spinach is getting already. And lettuces, carrots, and onions. So this is more onions than things in here. A lot of onions. In the front, we don't really have any onions because this is more beans and peas because supposedly the beans and the peas don't like the onions. But we put, tried it out over here. We put a pea next to an onion. So the pea doesn't seem to be mind the onions so much just yet. But we'll see how that goes. And also we planted some tomatoes. Tomato there. Uh, I know there's more. Tomato here. And we have some tomatoes in cups and everything, so. We're starting to get our warm weather things going. You can see the strawberries are really just, they're just waking up. They're loving it. Sorry if I'm moving too quickly. And then here, a little surprise. We got an apple tree. We've got a few of these growing now from seed. We threw seeds out from apples we eat, and there's apples we eat from the store, and they, they're popping. The one thing we noticed that, though, if you want to direct seed apples you bought from the store, make sure you get the organic ones. they got to be the organic apples. They're a little more expensive, but germination rate on them, and even the taste, is, isn't comparable. I would say, like, all the apples we got popped from the store were all organic apples. There's some corn and stuff coming up over here in this patch. And uh, another apple tree, an apple seedling right there. And then here's another apple tree seedling here. So we've got at least three apple trees going. And then we planted the hugel bed. Hugel culture bed, the whole thing's planted. As you can see in the front, these are mostly all transplants. More transplants. Uh, nice nasturtium going up there. I love the nasturtium. It's one of my favorite. All direct seeded. You can see some uh, corn coming up here. More corn, 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 and then of course, the giant pumpkin. This is for a contest uh, that we're entering, or we're in, uh, on a Facebook page called American Seed Alliance. And the guy Jerry sends out the giant pumpkin seedlings, so we got ours growing already, so. If you see this, Jerry, hope you're growing yours, because we're growing ours already. Some more in the back. Transplants. Some of the earlier transplants. Here's the, one of other cells in the back, looking pretty good. A lot of beans and peas. This one also, a lot of beans and peas. And then we have a bunch of corn and onions in here, and it looks good. They're liking the corn's really liking here, and so is the onion. Got many heads spun out over there. So there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, guys, and. It's a permaculture technique that we're going to be we're going to be using definitely. We use a lot of them already, but this is one of them that Bill Mollison talks about, and he says he uses more than more than anything. He plants his own whole garden like this, and this that's the use of edging, edge effects. Uh, so just like the edge of our wood chip garden and where the grass meet, that would be an edge, and because uh, the, there's a different ecosystem in the grass different kind of microorganisms, different insects, different everything. And then in the wood chip garden, there's a whole different kind of worms, microorganisms, things like that, whole different kinds. So where those two meet and come together, that little microclimate is a mini ecosystem, which has both of the different kind of species commingling. So it makes for really abundant fertility. And we're gonna, we're gonna use that out and you can just tell it's obvious especially when the, it rains and the water comes
comes off and it's like compost tea coming off our wood chip garden and you can see the edges look at this I'm not even sure what kind of plant this is but it puts out those purple cone flowers it puts out those purple cone flowers and has like the white strip going down it kinda and it, you could look at the size of this thing we, we don't have another well, we have another one in the yard but it's not doing like this the edge of all this place is are doing amazing so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here we're going to plant flowers along all flowers and vegetables and everything along all the edges of our garden look at over here look at this edge between his fence his compost kind of pile and our yard look at that look how abundantly things are growing so we're going to take that stuff down put our vegetables in put seeds in and use that edge and we're going to be doing that everywhere over here all, all back of our garden and back here is a great microclimate look the edge of where that meets our hugel bed the fence and the yard that almost like a triple edge and you can just see how how lush everything is over here it's just incredible it gets no wind back here I'm not even sure what these are if you guys can help tell me I don't know what these are these trying to identify them almost like an amaranth or something but look at it they're big back here this is the biggest they are in the yard purple flowers but you can see the edge